Welcome back everybody to a brand new video on the channel. Today we are back with another episode of Camp Minecraft. In today's episode of Camp Minecraft, we go to the nether with everybody and then we set up this pretty crazy stand to try and combat the Barry Bandit. So if you guys do enjoy the video, be sure to hit it with a like and comment down below what your favorite part of the video was. And if you guys are new, go ahead and hit that sub button because it could really, really help me out because we are getting so, so close to 300,000 subscribers. So if you guys could subscribe, it would mean the world. But other than that, let's just hop straight into the video. Well, everybody, welcome back to a Camp Minecraft <laughs> challenge. I'm ready to have Ooh, every single yeah. camper here. Yeah. Listen, listen, oh, no. listen, listen. We're focusing on a challenge today, okay? Right. Oh. Right. Um, we're gonna make three teams. Unfortunately, we never did math when we invited people to Camp Minecraft, and we have ten members. So oh, it's gonna be two teams of three and one team of four. Oh. And uh, we're gonna go to the Nether. First one to bring back Gilded Blackstone wins. Nice, uh, nice. Okay, okay, okay. So all right, all right. I'll go Press first. The sacred wool chooser to find your team. Oh, I'm green. Oh, right. I am. I'm yeah. green. Oh, oh no. Another green. What? Oh, what the heck? Wait, what the heck? There's actually different blocks in there. What the? Oh, Wait, that was... Okay. How does that work? Right. Minecraft, dude. Red. Red. Ooh. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, Nico got red. Oh, Biffle got blue. Oh, okay, okay. Green team over here. Okay, so... Gold, Jerome, Nico, Cherry, Amber, right. myself, and then the team of four over there. Okay, okay, okay. Well, hey, should we split off into, like, three different calls and then hop through the portal? Okay, 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 right. Wait, 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 w
I, I, oh, I haven't no. seen them at all here. Oh yeah, look, look, look below us. They all, they all made the pathways over. Oh no, okay, we need to go back. We need to go back now. We need to go. I, I'm, I'm gonna start running back. Um, you guys yeah, just go, 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 go. wait, wait, wait. I, I, I see Jerome up here. I see Jerome up here. This must be the way. I'm dead. You're dead. What? Yeah. Oh no. Oh no, everybody's dying. So far, I do not see anybody in camp. Oh, okay, okay. That's good. That's good. Wait, I see. I see the pathway. I see the pathway back. Wait, no. They're, they're running to the portal. They're running oh, well, to the portal. They're here. They're here. They're here. They're do, here. They, do they have it? Yeah, they, uh, they have it. They're here. Did they place it? No, no. I mean, they're they're going through the portal right now. No, no. Okay, come on. Punch them out. Punch them out. Amber, punch them out of the portal. No. No. Go, 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 go. just killed me. That's not allowed. Cheetah. 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 He killed me. Oh no. Wait. Some people were sitting around the campfire. Yeah. Oh, rip. Wait, Cherry, you died? Yeah, I died because a lot of magma. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Let's go back yeah, to the I general room then. Sigils! What? We would have won that if you didn't hit me off that bridge. Yeah, I know. That's why I did it. What? No! <laughs> Our team was passive the whole time. Our team was passive the whole time. We didn't kill a single person. And we were still there. Near us. You could have. You could have. So we had I didn't know people were killing each other. If, I, if, yeah, if that no. was the case, I would have killed Sigil straight away. Okay, well, congratulations, red team, on getting those camp bucks. You know, we'll go ahead and send them over. Over. But the oh. nether's open now. So the nether is open, so we can go get so sad. I, I don't want to go back to that. <laughs> yeah, that was horrifying. Oh, no. Hey, Henry. Henry. What do you want? Oh, that was a deep sigh. What do you want, hmm? Don't the contest is over, okay? You go. punched Let me go. off a bridge to my death. What could I possibly do for you, Sigils, huh? I was reading my comments. Uh-huh. A handsome and strong individual. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. my comments told me you have silk touch. Mm, that may or may not be true. I would like to buy some silk touch uses or blacksmith like silk touch it. Uh, huh? <laughs> you want to uh, you, you you, use my silk touch pickaxe? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I need. here's what I need. I need, uh -huh. like, some grass blocks. Okay, yeah. let me go grab my silk touch pickaxe and let's think about uh, this. I mean, you did just murder me, so you no, know no, 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 there no, no, might no, no, be, no. you know, an, an, an increased tax rate here. You know. Uh -huh. So, so how many, how many glass blo grass blocks do you want? Probably like ten. Ten? Okay, this is premium grade grass. This oh, is like straight from the backyard of this beautiful cottage here. This is high grade hey, grass. Not, so I'm thinking twenty camp bucks. How about that? Okay, I don't think anyone other than Nico has. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. One. Hmm. How about 1.5 rounded up to two? You. How many camp bucks do you have right now, Henry? I have six. I think. This, this is literally gonna increase your wealth. Uh -huh. By a lot. How many uh, sisters? The question is, how many camp bucks do you have right now? Okay, that's uh. That's uh, uh huh. Uh huh. Sisters, give me two camp bucks or no deal. Yeah, dude. I mean, am I, am I am I am I the only one with silk touch on the server? I think so. You know, I think I can I think I can, can extort we, you for that. So yeah, let me go. We, uh, just Two know bucks. That I will remember that. Okay. You'll remember, remember that? that. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. I'll remember how you <laughs> did your pricing. I'll remember that. Uh, see you later, Sigils. See you later, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now that we have a few more camp bucks from Sigils for letting him use our silk touch pickaxe, I just want to quickly go over a few changes that have been made to spawn real fast. So basically, um, I think a pathway is emerging this way over towards the water. So what Alex and I were actually thinking is making like a dock or like some kind of water thing along the along the water edge there because he's made the lighthouse and I wouldn't mind making like maybe a dock along the side here with like some nice little boardwalks along the edge. I'm not too sure. Kind of like what we did on our personal area in the last season. I think I think that was pretty cool. But now that we actually have access to the nether, I can go ahead and update my XP farm and make it a lot more efficient. We're not going to need that suffocation system anymore. I'm actually glad that I did make it and did get that suffocation system working because we made quite a lot of money from it. So, so here, let me go ahead and head over there and see who who has paid their lifetime sum for using this? Because obviously I could have made this thing free to use and you know made everyone's life a little bit easier. But I I did a two camp box one time fee and we made six camp box from there. So right now we have eight camp box and honestly I think I think that is a pretty good amount of camp box. But yeah, what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is probably grab some soul sand from the Nether and then go ahead and just update my XP farm real quick because that means we can just go ahead and make them go up 21 blocks and then drop down 21 blocks and then that will just gonna be one smack on the fist. So it should make things a lot easier. We're gonna go ahead and remove that whole stuff system because we don't really need it anymore. But here, let me go ahead and grab some soul sand and we'll get this thing working. Okay, so here, let's go ahead and grab all this soul sand. Oh my goodness, there's gas everywhere, dude. What the heck is this? But yeah, these soul speed boots, they like come out with the little particles, you see that? And it makes me really fast on soul sand, which is something you don't usually see. But here, let's grab as much of this as we can. Can we get the achievement back to sender? I, I kind of want to get that, you know? There's a lot of gas right here and we could possibly get it because he is super, super close here. 
And there we go with the last arrow. Easy peasy. Anyway, let's get back and go ahead and implement this soul sand into, into our mob farm. And just like that, as you guys can see, we have this thing working. They come along here, they fly up the little water columns, and then they are all just like a little punch of the of the fist. I think zombies take two punches for some reason. I'm not sure why. Uh, but yeah, they're all one punch. Or I guess we could just go ahead and swing and get them all at the same time, which is pretty nice until the new ones come dropping down, as you can see. But yeah, it works pretty well. And you know, it's a super easy way to get levels now. Now we don't even really need this lever, so I can go ahead and remove that. Um, but yeah, people have been using this, so I actually wanted to see how much stuff we have generated down here. And oh, 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 oh my goodness, look at all that good stuff. That is very nice to see, actually. Very, very nice to see indeed. So basically, once the camp counselor comes along with a bone or rotten flesh trade, we are ready to go. But yeah, I think I'm gonna leave this for now. Again, this all works perfectly well now. And oh, wait, we can also do one here, right? We can go ahead and do this and do that. And there we go. All the way up and we can also do this at our little strip mine now But since since we can get our hands on some soul sand I had an idea and I think you're a perfect person to you know Go about this idea with because you know, you know us with our TPP, right? You know, we, we, we we've shown our force We've gone ahead and pranked back Jerome. I think I think he definitely got the idea But I don't I don't think we're done yet Alex. I don't think we're done I think the TPP needs to be a little bit more competitive if you know what I mean Because as you can see spawn's been developing we have a pathway all the way up to my house now Which is super super cool uh, but yeah, we have a bunch of new stuff at spawn and some of that new stuff is is this market that is emerging over over near Jerome's house And I couldn't help oh to God. I couldn't help to notice that it looks like Jerome's sigils and probably Biffle soon will, will have their own stools selling like things So for example, they have circulated the berry market, you know, they're just selling berries here it Looks like sigils is gonna be selling fuel kelp fuel depot. I'm not sure what that means And I'm yeah, guessing <laughs> I'm guessing that Biffle will probably make his own thing as well. So <laughs> Probably right next to it. <laughs> so Alex, you wanna know what I've gone along and done? So if you, if you look if you look to your right here, you can see this little coming soon TM. I claimed us a little port here for Ooh, I, I like think it. I think what's going to be a really good idea because I think that we need to combat the berry, you know, the the, the berry community, <laughs> I guess, yeah, because I don't, I don't because like, I don't like the berry community either. No, because right now they are they're trying to sell one diamond for a stack of berries, and everybody knows that berries is like the worst food in the game. So <laughs> if we come back up to my house, I've been cooking something up and growing something in my backyard. I think I think it'd be very very profitable. So if we come up here, you can see I'm growing my carrots, but I'm also okay. growing some potatoes. Oh, the potatoes. The potatoes. So what I'm thinking is we make a potato stool and then cook these potatoes up and sell them in stacks to directly combat the berries. I agree. I like it. And there'll be free range potatoes. Free range potatoes. Definitely not in a redstone farm beneath our, our shop, uh, no, 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 you know, no, no, harvesting them these 20 times a second or anything. No, 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 no. Completely free range potatoes. Completely free. natural. Uh, but yeah, let me go ahead and plant these. And I think I think this should, this should be enough to start it off. I also have some cooking in my furnace over here. But hey, let's, let's go ahead and grab some materials. I, I think we need a little bit more spruce wood, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and cut down some spruce trees. But we're gonna go ahead, get some materials together, and build ourselves a little store. And I have the best idea for a little secret compartment of our store. So I'll, I'll keep you guys tuned in for that, and we'll go ahead and show you guys it when, we, when we've like built it up together, because we need to come up with some ideas as well for the actual build yeah. itself. But yeah, yeah, I, I, I think that's the perfect spot as well, because it's directly opposite the berry, the berry stand? Stand? Stand, yeah, yeah the berry stand. Yeah, stand, stand. So I, I think, I think we might get a few sales. I think we might get a few sales, Alex. So here, let's go ahead and build it, and we'll be right back. Okay, Alex, we have completed it. I think it looks really nice. I think it looks better than these bot stools, um, but also it kind of fits in quite nicely with the same kind of building like style, I guess, almost the same building palette. Just looks a lot better, Alex, right? Better. Yeah, but so, better. 100% better. So Alex, have you have you wondered how we're going to get these potatoes yet? We made the stand, we put 64 potatoes equals one diamonds, payments chest, all that kind of stuff, but have you wondered how we're going to get those diamonds, the beautiful, beautiful diamonds? Yeah, no, doesn't Jeff- I, I mean, I mean the potatoes, the, the potatoes, not the diamonds. We're going to get the diamonds from getting potatoes, but yeah. <laughs> Basically, I have, you know, made something pretty awesome, Alex, but before I show you that, let's go over to my XP farm that you know very well, because I know that you've been using yep. it, right? You, how much have you been using yeah, it? it? I've been using it a lot, actually. A it lot? It cost me half of my savings at first, but now well, I have a lot of camp blocks. But heck, meet me down there, because I want to show you something that you've been, I guess, helping oh. helping me out with. So just come down here and then just drop straight down once you're in. So, okay. you know how all the items, they, they fell down, you know, you weren't able to collect them? Well, yeah. that, that might be because I've gone ahead and collected them what for myself. <laughs> and as you can see, if you if you come down here, as you can see, we have oh a bunch my. 
of bones, right? We have a bunch of bones. So hey, go ahead and pick up as many bones from this as you can. I'll go ahead and grab okay. as... Nope, no, no, no. They're going to be going towards the potatoes. And we might as well grab the potatoes out of here that drop from zombies as well, because they're pretty useful too. But hey, let's go on. Head back to our farm, because... Is it... I mean, head back to our store, because it's not all that it seems. It's not just a stool. It's a, it's a little bit more than that, Alex. <laughs> okay, so Alex, as you were as you were building this, you remember, you know, you were building this. I was gone doing something. Yeah. Do you want to know what that thing what that you, you that I was doing was? Well, if, if, we, if we come back here... If we come back here, you know, you know this beautiful tree, this beautiful tree right here, this yeah. tree protected by the TPP. You know, it's been through a lot, but it's, st it's still standing, right? It's still standing. It only lost like it's. It, it yeah, it only it only lost tree. the bottom block. That's well, okay. if we if we come around the back here, <laughs> there's oh, a little button. button. Go ahead and give that button a little smack, Alex. Wait. <laughs> yeah. oh, Welcome to the secret basement of the potato stand. Check it out, dude. We have a oh. we have a smelting area over here packed up with some coal, and we also have this little contraption over here. And this this is the this contraption is why I asked you to go ahead and grab all those bones because here, turn all of those bones into bone meal and just start filling this bad boy up, Alex. Trust me, you're not gonna oh, you're not gonna regret it here. Let's just go ahead and start filling this up with as much bone meal as we can, and you'll see exactly what this thing does very soon. Okay, so there we go. We filled up all the bones, and I still have like 64 and 60 left over, so I'm just gonna go ahead and place down a little one here, and th just throw it in there as backup. But here, let me go ahead and grab a potato, and you can see exactly what this bad boy does. So if I just stand right here next to the trap door, and hold down right click on this observer right here, Henry, is this legal? Oh, this is definitely this illegal. I'm not sure this passes any health and safety regulations at all for the quality of potatoes. Um, oh but yeah, gosh, this Henry. this is a very fast, very quick potato farm where we can turn these potatoes and just make millions of potatoes through the bones that we get from the spawner. And as soon as we have a few, oh my goodness, I already have like two stacks, but as soon as we have a few, we can just go ahead and throw them in here and they get cooking in the smoker, as you can see it. If we want to wow. split it up even, we can go ahead and put some in there as well and just get them both cooking. Oh, it's hot, it's hot, Oh, shoot, shoot, no, 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 hot potato, hot potato. Ah, hot, 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 hot potato, hot potato. No, no, I don't want it. No, 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 no. Anyway, if you guys were wondering how half of this redstone works, well, this is the little door system. Again, it's pretty simple. It's just a double piston extender with an observer and with some redstone stuff. You know, pretty simple stuff, Alex, as you can see. Um, but yeah, Alex, I, I think this is going to be a very successful venture for both of us. You know, we can come down here this whenever we want. Partners. You know, we fill this bad boy up, stop generating potatoes, and just throw them into the chest, and we get free diamonds. Free diamonds, Alex. Whoa, 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 whoa. Most important, how are we doing the split? How are we doing the split? How are we making money? Um, um, I mean, it's TPP, which is you know a share income, so I, I feel like 50 50 is fair. You know, we come here every okay, week okay. or so, you know, split the diamonds. I think I think that's fair, right? That's a, that's a good deal. Okay, okay, okay. Well, here, you take a poisonous potato, and I'll take a poisonous potato, and let's go ahead and sign these because we need to make this declaration right. So come up, come up here, yes, yes, you know, yep, yep. let's close that up behind us. Make sure you uh, always close it behind you. Uh, I think the closest anvil is actually mine. Okay, so going into the anvil here, potato stand 50% share. So, so, so if I name it potato stand 50% share, and there's two of them, yes. that makes both of them cost 50, meaning together they cost 100. Wow, you passed your algebra. Uh, this is, this, there were no letters or numbers. Oh, there was numbers. I don't know, Alex. Anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and start generating more and more potatoes and get this thing filled up and maybe we can start making money, Alex. Maybe we can start making money. Okay, so Alex is down here hard at work getting all those potatoes, but here, let me go ahead and leave it because we have a little few things to do. So here, let's get on out of here. Let's actually close, close them off. And <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, I think you noticed. I think you noticed. Um, but here, let's go ahead and show you guys how much we've generated so far. So we have four stacks so far. Obviously, we're going to generate a few more as time goes on and hopefully we can get as many times as possible. But this thing needs a name, right? This thing, it does in fact need a name. So let's go ahead and throw a sign there and call it TPP's Free Range Potatoes. I'm not even sure how potatoes can be free range, but I, I guess this is definitely the complete opposite of be them being free range. So it kind of makes sense. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I think that is where we're going to end off today's episode. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to hit a like, comment down below what your favorite part of the episode was. And as always, subscribe if you guys are new, because I know that we are getting super, super close to 300,000 subscribers right now. And if you guys could help out, it would mean a bunch. But other than that, I'll see you guys all again next time. Peace.